All right, guys. It has been a while since I've done any Azariah, but I realize I've got to get back to it here. This one is called... <laughs> This one is called, also, I'm sorry, he was not speaking uh, Arabic. He was speaking Hungarian, and I was like, what is he speaking, Arabic? And some people got mad, but, I mean, with the vocal distortion, it's, I don't, I don't have an ear for, um, you know, Eastern, the uh, Eastern European languages, so, with, with the vocal filters, it sounded like Arabic to me, man, but I'm sorry if that made some of you guys mad. Look, this one is called, Valami Americai. Follow me, America, Sor America, Sorazat, Yeah, we're gonna call it that. I got the closed captions on for any Hungarian. I'm curious. As right, here we go. <laughs> Amit láttam egy álom képként, vág le ple alatt valami rém tört rá a nagy hegy oldalán. Alright, so these closed captions are not gonna work, it looks like. Um, Alright, we'll just keep going, guys. Fel kell a nap reggel, Screw és most úgy we'll play it out. Mit vagyok, élek is, meg békélek azzal, ami nekem jár. Ez olyan rég... I don't know what, what culturally, I don't know what Hungarians are like culturally, but usually if an old guy is sitting behind a tree watching women do yoga in a park, it's usually not, a, it's usually a little creepy over here, but uh, I'm I'm just cracking jokes, man. Let's go. So, I mean, I don't know what Volami is in um, Hungarian, but... Um, and I'm assuming America would be a reference to the United States. I mean, it could be obviously South America, North America, uh, Central America. Um, but it, it does seem as though like some of these scenarios might be taking place in the United States. Um, so it's it's interesting. But let's finish the video out and kind of see what, what happens from here. So there is a huge, I mean, you know, you got the, the contestants. I mean, I'm sure they have those kinds of shows everywhere. Um, you know, I, I mean, I know they have them in Asia, some in Europe, um, South America. They have these like panels where they, they judge them. But um, America is known for a lot of these things. You got the movies, you got the, um, you know, you've got the, like American Idol or, um, you know, the, the cooking shows and stuff like that. Um, you know, you do have these uh, huge commercial, commercialized industries of entertainment in the United States. And so I wonder if, if that's kind of what he's referring to here. You know, there's different movie scenes where it looks like people are shooting a movie. Uh, so that might also be a reference to the United States. Um, I'm not entirely sure. I mean, obviously, I'm an American, so I assume everything is about America. Um, but the only reason I'm saying that is because obviously America and then maybe some of this... Um, 
you know, I, I know the commercialization of the entertainment industry is a big, um, big thing wherever it does exist. Um, so I, I mean, Bollywood, I mean, there's, there's all kinds of places that have similar things, but, um, you know, these do look, I would say, I don't know. They look pretty Anglo like these, they look like, you know, pretty Anglo human beings probably. So let's keep going guys. Whoa! I didn't know he could play guitar, man. You know, he's, he's got a nice voice. I will say musically, like this kind of music isn't necessarily my cup of tea, but it is upbeat and it's entertaining and enjoyable. Um, I've listened to Four Moods a few times since I first initially heard it, and I kind of like it. It's a nice, it's a nice little, um, it's a nice little song. I, I do like his voice. I like the way that he switches between, um, you know, it, between each mood and there's the, um, the variation in his flow. I really like as well. I had no idea that he got, he could play guitar. Like he, he, um, had artistic talent outside of, uh, singing and kind of making like a, a little bit of an upbeat poppy pop ish song. Interesting. Jobbé, jobbé nekem mit most? Tusak fény, még beérzem a ritmust, de most pihenek a fűben és tudolom. No matter. Interesting. Um, so near the end of the song, there it seems like he's kind of um, show. It, it almost seems my interpretation of it. It is. It seems like he's showing kind of what the entertainment industry does to the individuals who are in it. In that it's it's very damaging to the individual. Um, and I'm not really sure what to make of the, you know, Azari walking out of that uh, garage and then the three people come behind him and smile. I'm not. I, I think maybe if I spoke Hungarian and understood the lyrics, um, I would definitely have a better idea. But um, that's kind of my take of it is, is near the end, near the end, you kind of have this unwinding chaos. Like there's a little bit of tension um, in the different scenes. And then near the end, it's kind of like a little bit more chaotic and that that uh, tension is, is um, kind of manifesting in a little bit of chaos. And so... Um, yeah, I don't know necessarily if that's that was kind of the intention of the video, but as someone who doesn't speak Hungarian, that's kind of my um, interpretation of what I'm seeing. And um, yeah, there's definitely something to be said for how, um, I mean, you hear stories about the enter entertainment industry. And um, I mean, I guess the one of the worst examples I've heard is like the Harvey Weinstein thing where like these, you know, he uses his power and I, I maybe, you know, I hope. I hope that that is an extreme situation, you know, because I, I really hope that it's that's not the norm. Um, but, you know, it, it, we found out just like kind of how that process went for those women who wanted those roles. And, that you know, he kind of used his power to say, well, I could get you the role, but, you know, you kind of got to. So um, that's kind of like the, the most obvious example, um, you know, I, I can think of. But there's also just the. I mean, if you think about like a music artist, the amount of touring they do, if you do, if you do five concerts in a week, man, that's exhausting. You're staying up, you're giving your all for each concert and then you're, you're up all night and then you, you sleep for like three, four hours. Then you start getting ready for the next one. You fly, you fly, you know, I mean, man, it's gotta be so exhausting. So 
that's kind of my interpretation. I don't really know if that's what um, Azariah intended, but you guys definitely know, um, let me know kind of what the song was about and uh, your thoughts. And yeah, feel free to comment, like the video, um, subscribe, and please, please, please recommend what Azariah to do next. Um, I know I'll, I'll get some recommendations from a few people I, I know in particular who are going to tell me um, on this video what to do next. So uh, you are much appreciated and you guys know who you are. So uh, yeah, I'll wrap this one up. Thank you guys very much. Take care, stay safe and take care of your loved ones wherever you are watching the video from. Thank you.